hi hi uh, welcome to our video tutorial in this video tutorial we're going to see a uh, form of validation in our javascript application we have two types basic validation and also uh, data format validation basic validation means the most common validations like if the uh, if the value is being provided or not mostly like required fields is the username entered is the age field entered or is a country field selected so we have to check all that that's basic validation to check whether the uh, any value is being provided or not the second one is we have to also validate the format if there is any value is being provided okay it's being validated it's being provided but is the var if is, is the provide provided value a valid data like if we uh, accept a user uh, an email from the user is that email a valid email address at least its format is the the format a valid email address so we have to check that so we will have two types of validations so let's start the journey so validation.html okay so first let's create uh, a form okay now inside the form we'll have a table just to align our controls okay so we'll have tr and in that we'll have two tds so we'll have four trs in the first one we'll accept full name in the second we'll accept email in the third we'll accept country so we'll see a text box here we'll see a format validation here and we'll see a combo box or select items here so in here we can add uh, our button so our button is going to be submit record okay so for full name we'll simply use input text box and its id is going to be texty full name so for email as well we'll use uh, Email type and for the country, we'll use select. With options, okay. Uh, okay, select country. Now, let's have our uh, different options. Yeah. US Canada Britain. I think we have enough options. Okay, so what we what we are going to do is when we click submit record, we have to make sure that all the data is being provided, which means we need to have a full name being provided, email and also uh, country has to be selected so let's add a default option here okay so after that we'll also see if the value being provided is in a correct format like in the case of email okay, so now let's start our script
okay so here let's have a function called validate this will do all the validations and return uh, any error message using alert okay so the first thing i'm going to do is provide a name for our form so our form will have a name parameter and the name of our form is going to be uh, let's say my form okay now here if document dot my form dot inside my form we'll have we have the executive full name so txt full name value equals empty then we need to provide a message please enter full name first okay so this will uh, tell the user to provide the correct answer then a return false Okay, now let's copy paste our if statement after else. So for the exit email as well, please provide enter an email. We need the third value, the third validation. The third validation validation is going to be else if. Okay, so select a country dot value equal to empty we'll check this name Entry. so let's check our can our parameters if we are going to use uh, to access the controls using our form then we have to define name property as well as we defined the name property of a form then we have to define name we can change ID, ID to name or we can define name as a, dip, a different parameter like this. So name equals, it has to be exactly the same ID and name. So if we are going to use document.get element by ID, then I will use the ID parameter. If I'm going to use document.myform.the control name, then we have to define name variable. So for this as well, we need name variable. Now we have to provide value parameter for each option that we have. So here we need to have options. Uh, we need to have values. So the values are going to be exactly as the text being provided. So for this one, it will be empty. So for the select country, if the value is not empty but dash okay like this one if it's dash then there's no country being selected this one is the default value okay please select country now if everything is well i'll return true which means we can add else here so if full name is provided email select country is being provided then i'll say return true now let's do this one this is just basic form validation okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call use in the form on submit function the function called validate Okay, so let's try our file. Let's open our HTML file. And now we have three, uh, three controls in country. We have uh, the list. Now let's just click submit record. Now, as you can see, please enter full name first. Now let's enter full name and submit record. Please enter email first. Okay, now the record 
sample at gmail.com now submit record please select country first okay so we have managed to provide uh, to implement basic validation okay now when i submit there is no message which means it can be saved so i will call uh, if i provide a url or uh, an action property here then it will be called and our function is going to be submitted okay now there is one more thing as you can see in html5 we can we can choose type email which means the email field is going to be validated by itself our html will do that for us let's see now this is the email value i'm giving now when you click submit record see this is not our message okay this is a message from HTML5 itself. It makes sure that the value we have provided meets the requirements or the format of an email. So now it says, please include at symbol. Then when we add at, please enter a part following at symbol. So it's going to make sure everything is being completed. Now, for the country, we have to check that too. But right now, as you can see, sample add this and this. Now, when we click submit record, there's no error. But our email is not completely correct. I mean, we have to have .com at last, right? This can be an email we need to have dot com after this so for this we need to validate our template or our data in the email so to do that uh, we can include we can implement this using a regular expression but we can also manage that easily like in the email value if it's not empty then we have a value okay from that we can search for our dot symbol if we have a dot symbol in our email it's probably right because the rest is being validated by uh, HTML itself so what we can do is from the value dot search for the last index of dot and if this value is okay equal to zero, let's check this. Please enter the enter email correctly. Now let's refresh our page and let's try this. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's see this. How is it? what is the number being returned so we can simply alert the value and we'll check the comparison after that so let's refresh add this now submit it's minus one when it doesn't get any value it will return minus one what if it finds a dot somewhere it's nine it's the position of my parameter so if it's equal to minus one then you have to show error okay Paracut. sample at gmail no.com no country when i click submit it has to tell me please enter email correctly there is a format issue i have to enter dot com or dot something okay so this is how to implement validation simple validation or basic validation and also format validations 
most of the time HTML provides different type of controls so it can be managed by itself easily but sometimes we have to do our we have to do it ourselves as well okay so this is uh, what we have for validation I hope things are clear if you have any comments or suggestions please leave us a comment in the comment section below and also uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube video channel uh, to get notifications on our future videos thank you very much for watching